Jesus is a prophet. He isn't God and he isn't God's son. And this is video number five. And this is probably one of my favorite reasons because it demonstrates the continuation of religion, namely the Abrahamic religions. So that's Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. And I love this reason because it shows us that every single prophet preached the exact same message, which was monotheism, the oneness of God. And in this reason, it actually comes directly from the Bible, and it's Matthew 5, 7. And to give you some context, this is where Jesus was asked, have you come to abolish the commandments, and specifically the Ten Commandments that came from Moses, which, were, which is the basis of Judaism? And Jesus' response is beautiful. So in Matthew 5, 17, it's, Think not that I have come to destroy the law or the prophets. I have not come to destroy them. I have come to fulfill them. And I find this so beautiful because when you look at the Ten Commandments, what is the first one? The first one is you shall have no other gods before me and you shall not make. So that's the first one. And the second one, you shall not make for yourself an image in the form of anything in the heaven above or on the earth beneath or in the waters below. You shall not bow down to them or worship them. So the first two, one is monotheism, the oneness of God. And the second one is do not associate anything you can think of to God, meaning idols, meaning even thinking that Jesus is God. Because if we have seen Jesus, that means that, and if people believe that Jesus is God, that means we've seen God, but we cannot put any image to God. So that directly contradicts it. And then I believe, and many people believe that to believe in the Trinity also contradicts the first commandment, which is the oneness of God. It doesn't say the three in oneness of God or the two in oneness of God. It's the oneness of God. Very clear, very simple. But I love how in this, in the Bible, Jesus specifically says he is not here to ignore it. He's here to fulfill it. He's here to actually honor it and affirm the commandments. And I find that so beautiful. And then what's even more beautiful is when Jesus was asked, what is the most important commandment? He literally says it's the first one, that the Lord is one, that there's only one God. Jesus is saying there is only one God. And then we as humans have the nerve to then think that Jesus is God himself. When Jesus himself is saying that, no, beyond me, there is only one God. And I am not here to even dance around the Ten Commandments that came before me. I'm here to honor them, affirm them, and fulfill them. This is reason number five, and it is a beautiful, beautiful reason. And I love Islam so much because Islam honors all the things in the Old Testament, all the things that came from the past. It honors all the things that are crystal clear. It honors it to a T. It honors it and doesn't contradict it at all. Because in Islam, the fundamental thing that we believe, the fundamental ideology is that there's only one God worthy of worship. And when people think, and including myself, when I used to think, oh, but is Allah a separate God? No. Allah is just Arabic for the God, the one God. It's every single prophet. They all worship one God, the same God. There's only one creator. It may have different names based on the different languages, but it's one God. So that's reason number five.